I recently had a chance to go to the Old School BMX show and I bought a box. And today, we're gonna see what's inside that box. Stay tuned. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel and thanks for stopping by. Hey, today Bernie and I are back in my garage because... Well, Nicey's garage. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> Part of it is we're gonna go ride after this and we're gonna go ride the Monzas. And so, so we definitely, uh, you know, the bikes are at my house so it's much easier to do it from here. But we're shooting this video first because I recently had a chance to go to the old school BMX bike show on Oahu and that was put on by Aloha BMX and the Bike Factory and it was in the YPO Bike Factory parking lot. And Flo and I went, Bernie, you're busy, right? You had to work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had to work. Bernie had to work, so yeah. he couldn't make it. We were trying to get Bernie to come up as well. It was gonna yeah. be a boys weekend. That would have right? been cherry. It would have been fun. Yeah. Uh, but Bernie couldn't make it, so Flo and I went up. And um, anyway, we had a great time. If you wanna see the video, uh, I, I just posted a video on that recently. You can go check it out in the corner. I'll put a link up to it. Um, but anyway, in at the bike show, there was a guy hanging out in the back, and he was it was kind of dark by then. Okay? He was selling so it was, stuff. Yes, he was selling some stuff. Okay. Okay. So he was just hanging out in the back. He looked suspicious. No, he didn't look suspicious. <laughs> but it was dark. And he had some stuff in front of him. He had like a bunch of different vans, you mm -hmm. know, shoes. Okay. He had some um, kind of like collectible, like toy figures. Mm. Like die cast like, kind of stuff. Well, more like the, the figurines for like BMX kind of stuff. You know how they made sm small BMX riders and stuff like that. Oh. But he had a couple of those things. Cool. And then he had this box. And Flo, and I got to send a shout out to Flo, because Flo was the one who saw this. Eagle eye, the guy. He has an eagle eye. He, Flo was paying attention, and he saw a Skyway logo. And he pulled me over, and it was like, Kev, the guy selling Skyway jerseys. Let's go check them out. <laughs> so I went over there, and there was another couple that was looking at the box already. Ooh. So they opened up the box, and they were going through it. And then they kind of like you know, left, and then Flo and I started going through the box. And that was it. And yeah, the, the stuff that I saw in this box, I was like, okay, how much do you want for this box? And he told me the price and I whipped out, my, I was, I, my wallet came out and I was like, here you go. <laughs> Before the guy had a chance to change his mind. There you go. <laughs> but so his name is Mike. Um, if any chance Mike is watching, um, Thank you because this this is an amazing box and we're gonna go into it right now. You ready? We go. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, let's crack this thing open. Um, as you can see, nice uh, wooden box, right? Yeah. And you gotta see what's on the top here. Okay, we're gonna show you the, the top of the box first. Okay. Uh, wall to wall, it's the birth of the freestyle movement. This was a special limited edition box this is box 19 out of 100. There were only 100 of these made. And um, as you can see, there's different logos. We got like Oakley Vans, Harrow, GT, Bob Harrow, uh, SE Bikes, Dino, and Skyway. So they must have all had some sort of part in this. And you'll kind of see why yeah. when we open this thing up. But already, right, you can kind of just see that, you know, right off the top. Okay, so let me put this down. So the thing that, that Flo saw first was a Skyway, okay? Yeah. So he was like, hey, this guy's selling Skyway jerseys. Mm -hmm. And like, go check them out. So we go over there and we thought it was a box. Cause actually this was, was it inside another box? Wow. It might've been inside an another um, cardboard box. So it looked like it was just like, you Some, know. Something. Yeah, he was just selling, right? So we looked at them. So, okay, so first, you got, you know, a Skyway jersey already, okay? And it's old school with a mesh. Yeah. Okay? Old school. So that's that, we got that. And in fact, let me go ahead and let's let's turn this thing this way so we can put these things down there so that, that we can see that, okay? Okay. So we got that, but that's not it. Then there's a Harrow jersey. Nice. Okay. okay. Harrow, old Harrow. school with the Oakley, Matt, yeah. Vans. Wow, okay. 
Okay. Oh, we're not done yet. Okay. We got now a GT Factory Dino jersey. Wow. All right, so three jerseys. Okay. <laughs> okay. Three jerseys. And then we're not done. We got Yikes. a Mike Buff t-shirt, an SE Racing Mike Buff t-shirt. That is cool. That is cool, All right? We also have an AFA American Freestyle Association t-shirt. Oh my goodness. All right? And then you got... Bro, this box is loaded. This box is loaded. You got a special pair of Vans. Man. Okay? With the wall-to-wall, -wall, right? Wall-to-wall, -wall, the birth of the freestyle movement, with all these different, like, you know. Wow, get all kinds of stuff yeah, on top. Yeah, all kinds of, like, different, you know, designs and stuff for, like, photos and different things. AFA, Freestyle Association, mm -hmm. right? All that kind of stuff. Wow. Right? So this is, I think they, they only made this for the box. So there's, yeah. like, a hundred of these only. And then there's... Some Amy Grips. Those are cool. Right? Amy Grips. And then you got some Stu Thompson Mushroom Grips. Ooh. And these have like Stu Thompson's um, signature on it. Nice. You know, or at least, you know, an imprint of the signature. Right. Um, which is pretty cool. Right? Some old school yeah, mushrooms. But it here is what I saw that yeah. was in this box. Good. Some Oakley B1Bs. Yeah, look at I mean, that. You guys remember, you remember like these are like that holy is... grail. Like we we love these things. Yeah. And I don't know why, because they look like just an octopus. Yeah, <laughs> I know, yeah. But it's Oakley cool. B1Bs. Yeah. And I mean these are repops. They're not they're not original from back in the you know That's okay though. From the eighties or whatever. And I think they only made them in like limited quantities for stuff like this. I, I wanna say some of the SE bikes, the, the fat, the Mike Buff, you know, Fast Ripper, you know, any of the Mike Buff bikes wow. have B1Bs. Those are cool. But on top of that, it was, you know, in my favorite colors. Yeah, that's why you score. Blue and white, right? So I was like, how, you, how much, you know, are you selling this for? Like, is you selling the grips only? He goes, no, I'm selling the whole box. Wow. And I was like, well, how much? is the box <laughs> thinking it's going to be like several hundred bucks because yeah, look yeah. at all of this stuff, yeah look right? at all this stuff and he drops he tells me 100 bucks <laughs> and i was like okay <laughs> wallet came out grabbed the cash gave it to him thank you very much wow i mean i could not believe all of this stuff i mean guarantee this box retailed well over gotta be two two three hundred bucks Easy. i don't know i mean i don't know well, what it costs more. i don't know yeah i don't know what it costs when it first came out i was trying to do research i was trying to find out like how much this box was i couldn't find any information on it man so i don't know what it costs so if you guys are out there and you have seen this box before or you get this box. or you have this box what did you guys pay for it i have no idea either way it was a steal even if i paid 200 bucks for this or yeah. 300 bucks for this i mean you get a pair of Limited edition vans. You have, you know, two t-shirts. Yep. Three jerseys. And three sets of grips. Man. You know, I had one guy at the show. So what I did was got the box, right? Uh -huh. And shout out to Sam. Sam is one of our viewers. Okay. Okay. So he was there at the show, mm -hmm. introduced himself. He he has he has a red line and a hutch that were in the show, the Hutch One. Nice. And there's a cruising in 808 sticker on that. Yeah. Thing, right. So he comes up, he talks to me, introduces himself. So we just start talking. And it was actually Sam's idea. You guys should do an unboxing. So that's why we're, we're doing this that's, unboxing. There you go. So um, thanks, Sam. But yeah, I opened the box to, to show him. Mm -hmm. And then other guys started coming around. They wanted know? football. And yeah. they're like looking at that. Yeah. So one guy was like, how much for the jersey? For the, for the GT jersey. Oh, I like the GT play. jersey. Yeah, it was like a swap meet, right? And then this other guy was like, hey, you can resell the, the, the grips. <laughs> Let me know. And he said, I get one project. I'm looking for, the, for, those, for those kinds of grips. And yeah. I was like, oh, sorry, bro. Like these, I'm never selling these. That right there, the money you'd spend. Yeah. Is worth the... This, I would pay 100 bucks for these grips. 
I probably would. I, if, I don't if, know, man. I type me. <laughs> Sorry. I think I would. I think I would well, if it you was. You bougie, that's why. Well, but three hundred dollar oh, paddles man, times two. Come on, guys. these are Oakley B1Bs. These are like, this is one hundred percent old school grips. Bro, you know how much cans I gotta smash for that? <laughs> <type? laughs> you know how much these go for on eBay? A lot. I think these are like three hundred bucks on eBay. Easy. It's ridiculous. Yep. Like no grips are worth three hundred bucks, and even a hundred bucks is ridiculous to pay for these. Yeah. But I, but I was like, I bought the box and I was like, I'm buying them for the, more for the grips than anything else. Yeah. But I think there's, there's some cool jerseys in here. There is. You know. I and mean, if they weren't extra large. It is big. You would be swimming in that. Me, yeah. I probably would. I think these would probably still be big for even me. Yeah. But that is like these shoes seat. are too big. Like these are, right? these are too big for me. I think these are 10 and a half. This is for like. The six feet tall Caucasian <laughs> guy with like twelve feet. Yeah, uh, yeah. I not these are, little, these, like are us. these are too yeah, big. These are too big. But um, yeah. But anyway, even if you just had this and you just like yeah. stuck it on a wall or something, right? Like, I mean, yeah. But you'd want to wear them, cool. man, because that thing is cool. It is pretty cool. It, these would just fall off my feet. I think. Though. I know. These are these are a little I bit mean, too big. But, yeah. but I told Flo. Flo can have these shoes if he wants them, because he was like, he was the one that, that showed this box to me. Yeah. We were the only the second people to look at the box, because I oh, guarantee someone else saw that box who knew what was in it. Yeah. That thing would be gone. Yeah. So I was just super stoked, super lucky to get it, and I want to, you know, Sam was like, you didn't even bring a bike to this thing, and you, and you won. There you go. <laughs> yeah. And I was like... Yeah, I kind of feel like I did. Like you this did. Is, this is a super score for a hundred bucks. Yeah. And and you know maybe Mike just wanted to just get rid of them. He just maybe this was given to him. Maybe. And because it had a book and the yeah. book's not in here, so obviously like no, maybe he so had the book and I, here. He, I think he's actually probably even in the book. He said he worked for Matt Hoffman. He judges for X Games. He did X X Games judging. Wow. For like twenty something years. Oh. He's a tattoo artist. Wow, good he for this guy. He does all this stuff for Vans. So, so I, my guess is they probably sent him the box. This is this is swag right here. This is. Wow. So anyway, we just wanted to show everybody what what was in it. My score at the BMX bike show. I didn't even bring a bike, but like I, but yeah, like yeah. Sam said, score. I think I definitely scored on That's this. That's awesome. But cool. thanks, thank you to Mike because, um, yeah, now, now the quest, now the now the question is. What do we do with these? And do we build a bike hmm. based on just the grips? You the money man, Kev. <laughs> you know? I'm the one that pays the bills. That's right. <laughs> so I don't know. You the guy that spend the yeah, money. Yeah, I don't know. But I think, I think we got to start thinking ahead <laughs> to the next build. Wow. And these grips are going to be the are gonna be the, the show thing that starts yeah. it. We're gonna build you around know? that. Build around this. I don't know. What do you guys think? Because I think that'd be pretty cool. I think they would love to see us build another but, one. Yeah, this I just can't get over these Bro, grips though. I mean look, that's just from like Bro. back in the day, man. I feel like I twelve, thirteen years old this again. This is crazy. I, I, I so wish Oakley came back. Yeah. Like Oakley on the on the very minuscule chance that you guys are ever watching any of our stuff, yeah, and you watch this video, please make more grips. Like, well, you go know what? Back. Just make one like this, with this on top here, like this, <laughs> and then we good, man. Done. Maybe we should like limited edition. Get a, take a take a photo of a grip and make a shirt out of it. I oh. don't know. Anyway, shoots. Okay, but that's that's the box, and we wanted to kind of just show everybody what it was because it might get. Pieced out. Um, like I said, there was a guy on Oahu that, that said he wanted that jersey, so that might be That's sold cool. to him. Flo wanted the van, so I'll, I'm going to give it to him. Um, okay. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens with everything else. But anyway, yeah, let us know if you guys got this box and what you paid for it, or what do you think this box is even worth? Mm -hmm. My guess is this is like a three, four hundred dollar box. Easy. Easy. Collectible stuff. Yeah. yeah. But anyway. Cool. Right? Right on. All right, so that's the unboxing of the wall-to-wall -wall Birth of the Freestyle Movement box. I mean, it's not new. I think this thing came out in like 2016, so a lot of you guys 
probably already knew what this was, but mm -hmm. for me it was brand new. I've for never you, seen it. was brand it. new, yeah. and uh, it's just a super cool find. We got lucky, and um, yeah, so maybe swag. City, maybe man. think about you know how we can use this in the next build. There you go. Yeah. Anyway, hey, if you stuck around this long, thank you very much for watching. Consider liking and subscribing and sharing this maybe with somebody who would kind of dig this kind of BMX content. Hey, until next time. <laughs> yeah, until next time. We going out of box that is. <laughs> yeah, until next time if we get us we get a we get a lucky score like that. Uh, take care of one another, be safe, and aloha. Aloha.